Mom, Yes. it's your birthday. Yes, it is. And you're getting a big present. Yes. Last year for my birthday, I wanted your dad to make vanilla orange bark, which I got. Mm -hmm. This year, I wanted a 12 inch in Rover, wow. which I got. <laughs> I'm so spoiled. Baby. I know. It's in there somewhere. Six inch in Rover. Oh, does it come with the truck? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, so I understand that Joe and Kara came up with the names for the in Rovers just recently. Yeah. So the old in Rovers, Ruby, and then this new one's going to be Rabby. <laughs> Seems fitting. I Ruby. wanted it to be in Roby McRober face, but nobody else Shut likes it. Shut it down, huh? Yeah, it could be the full Shut name. right down. It could be the full name. You could go with nicknames. Just call him Robbie for short. Yeah. What, what was um, in France? It would be Robert. <laughs> in Robert. Oh my god, you grew up in France? Yeah, you didn't know it? No. Oh, oh, oh. I see it now, though. He's I gotta see it. Well, he's got a French laugh, so <laughs> I think. Yeah. It's authentic. Yeah. Hmm. Is that the most fun part of your job? Yeah. Going up and down on that thing. <laughs> Does it get old after the first 10 years? Yeah, yeah after 16 years. <laughs> Open says yeah. Joe. How heavy is this? One's four, the other's five. Okay, so it's heavy. <laughs> so we'll minute. probably go this. I want to make sure I get turned around once we get it. You just want to steady it so she doesn't go over? Yep. Well, he just said she, but well, this one's supposed to be Robbie, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is Robbie. Maybe Robin? Yes, this gender. Oh no. Trigger! Mm. There you go. What is it? Is that supposed to say for a G-Light? <laughs> <laughs> we can always write it on there. Just Sharpie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are really running out of space now. <laughs> yeah. Let me know when. When? Uh, I've always wanted to get like some of the old pipes. In the what was that? <laughs> oh, you know. Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. The old, the old pipes from the ceiling from the basement, I, I said that we should have gotten some of those and just hung them from the ceiling. Oh, okay. So when you were walking by, you could just hit your head every once in a while. Feel at home. Uh, how about every so often? We just hit you in the head with a pipe when you walk by. <laughs> 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 what was that? Just throw a wrench at you. Oh, thanks, guys. You, you know what they say, if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a wall. It's the conveyor wow. belt in the... Does this have a cooling tunnel? There's a cooling tunnel, right? Wait, what? No, we shouldn't have a cooling tunnel. Yeah, what the heck? Unless, they, uh, unless it's complimentary. This is the belt. Yeah, but see that thing? The, over here, look where I'm pointing. That's a cool thing. <laughs> <can't tunnel>. <laughs> or I could just take this off. Dude, that's a cool thing. It sure tunnel. looks like Max, it. You can even look at it through the screen. Oh my gosh. That makes it a lot easier, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like, yeah, it sure does. Huh. But typically, a cooling tunnel is a lot longer than that. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Well, find out soon enough, huh? Yeah, probably I'll just take it out. We gotta wait for Steve, though. To really unbox it? Or? I mean, yeah. We can get probably. the sides off at least. Yeah, we'll get the side off. Jeez, don't you know what you're doing, Joe? No. Watch your head on the screw right here, dude. Get your knee out of the way. I'm just gonna. Yeah, I can't reach and look. So. Max, is that your knee? Yeah. Can you oh, just pull those up? Yeah. Guess I missed a couple, huh? Like, you see where the foot is? It's right on the other side of like that point. Ah, oh, I feel it. That bit is too short to... Hmm. All right. Let's they're, uh, they're both... I'm just going to try this way. Maybe. Oh, man, that's the peel. That's the six times. 
And you already, um, I think you have to count the tip. Yeah. Yeah, you might as well do that. Well, that's in a box. Oh, well, that works, huh? <laughs> Just watch out for that screw. Yep. So. Is that on wheels? That's on wheels, so we can cut the oh, strips and just pull it off. Oh, and there's the roll of paper. Oh, oh that is. Okay, yeah. There. Pardon me, sir. There, I know that's what you were looking for. Oh, so. kindling. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I can bring that home. That's an upset fire. <laughs> yeah. Kindling? Is that when you read a book on your electronic tablet? to keep all that. That's like you bet. two belt buckles. <laughs> yeah, these are actually kind of neat. They're relatively sturdy. You can hang stuff from the ceiling with these. Yeah, like the pipes from the basement. Mm -hmm. It's a sign. <laughs> we'll just hang some uh, some weights from them so you can walk into them from time to time. That sounds reminisce. fantastic. About the good old days. <laughs> oh, I miss not standing up straight. Does anybody know when they're actually in the good old days? Like, you ever say, this is it, this, I'm in the good old days. What was that? There's that quote where he's like, I wish there was a way to know that you were, what, having the good times? Mm -hmm. like That's what that... Having them or something? Yeah, from the office. From the office, oh, right? Yeah, was, was it Andy? I feel like we're in the good old days right now. Yeah. It's like... We're expanding and like it's always really exciting. You just got a new enrober, yeah. hiring more people, you know? Yeah, yeah it's not I mean, I'm old, I've been in the good old days. <laughs> okay. Hey, you were just kneeling and you got up without making any noise, so come on. Are you okay, really a dad? That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, my knees. <laughs> oh, I sure uh, wish I had some new knees. Sure do miss the good old days. <laughs> Okay, so just tip it over and smash it. Uh, you know what? Why don't you guys go back to work now? I can take care of this. I'll just throw it on my back or something. Maybe we could call Karen in. Yeah. 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 Ah! 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 Uh, just kidding. So maybe it's not a cooling tunnel. Not anymore. <laughs> Does anybody need oh, saving? You know what? It's not. It's just a Do I have to move a train off of somebody or anything like that? Yeah. Uh, not yet. Okay. Sounds like somebody needs to be rescued. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Oh, that's a little heavier than I thought. And it moves. It's a You want me to do it? <laughs> Here, let me take those. Yeah. I'll hold these. Hold on. I got it here. We're all good. I was. There we go. That could have done that. Wheel. <laughs> if I wanted to, I could have done that. Really? Ha! <laughs> okay, uh, let's wheel this out of the way. We we careful we. <laughs> get it, get it. I don't want to squish you, Greg. It's very thoughtful of you. I know I try. We didn't think this out very good. <laughs> all right, so let's go in here. So we gotta move all this stuff from Mira. Like the same one. Right. I can see these ones. Just the one in the middle, maybe? Maybe. What's that? Oh, that would have been cool if it stuck. Huh? 
We'll throw it like a man next time. <laughs> Did that work? I think it's loose at least. <laughs> you pulled the screw right out. <laughs> <laughs> you no, need to drill when you got a Joe. <laughs> Us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we still need both. We could have just kicked it open. I uh, know. I should have just, you know, round <laughs> the Oh, more of those things. <laughs> mm. They really don't want this thing moving. And, yeah, you got another lip in there, too. Yep. And he just bolted, yeah. He's like, oh, I've got some pressing business elsewhere. He, he bolted? He bolted. What are you guys, nuts? That's funny. You know that That's Kirk. a very in interesting conversation thread. We're all a little screwy. That was lame. You're such a nut. I got a bolt. All right, uh, can I have the hammer? If you stop making puns. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> it's leaking! <laughs> it looks like there's nails in that one. Yeah, there is. And I'm not sure how to get them out of there. Because it's a, um, you know what? I gotta do a uh, pry bar. I make mean, sliver too. Wood is made of slivers. Yeah, you need them. Who'd have thought you'd need all this stuff just to make candy? Yeah. Okay. Pry bar, square bit drill, circle bit drill, <laughs> triangle bit drill. Alright, now we're getting the hammer. I'm gonna get the point. All right, enough of the punts are getting under my skin. Oh, that's a good one. I mean, is that the last one? Could we just pull it forward now? I think we can pull it forward. I just want to get out of the way a little yeah. bit because the, the casters have to have room to swivel. Yeah. Yep, sure do. And the nail's out now, so we don't want the tires to pop. Right. Yeah, it's okay. Alright, so you got it? Watch your toes. Alright. Pull the... Just pull, pull the crate forward. out. Just, just get oh, on the okay. back and pull the crate out. Yeah, I helped. The casters must be locked. You got a key? <laughs> that one is up. Don't move it or anything, okay? There we go. This is the most goodest birthday present you ever done got? It's, yeah. I mean, it didn't come with a ball, but I'm okay no, with that. Yeah. <gasps> came with a bunch of... Uh, Packing stuff. Which we can use. That's, those are some big bubbles if Max leaves any of them all popped. <laughs> Which I don't well, know I about that. I hate to burst your bubble, but I like to pop them too. Oh boy. These are only medium bubble bubbles. Shortage. They're not even the big ones. Not meaty enough for you? They're just medium. Yeah. You know what's fun is you get a big sheet of them and you jump up and down on it. Like, <laughs> you dance on it. I've never got to do that. Seriously? Oh boy. 
Walk me, Papa. Don't worry, we're not replacing you. We're just gonna use both of you. <laughs> yeah, we still love you. You're cute. Yeah, you're little and cute. cute. <laughs> You'll always be our first. Yep. All right. First we got. First we forgot. <laughs> I think she got it. I think so. They did it. Extraordinary job of packing this. You guys don't have a knife. Oh, yeah. I just don't know what I'm cutting into, you know? That's not true. You don't want to cut the cord. Yeah, I'm curious. Is this an iPad holder or is it a computerized thing? I think that's an iPad over there. Right? Oh, is that a touch screen? Oh, Could it be? No. Whoa. No How iPod neat is that? Or iPad. We'll find out. So I don't have to buy an iPad. Oh. iPad password. One, two, three, four. No, oh, everyone knows their password. I don't have to buy an iPad. It's Unless. the same password I have on my luggage. <laughs> And everything. <laughs> hey, how'd they know my pen? <laughs> Go ahead, Max. Try it. Oh. I'll put this one on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Do Me alive, Capper. What? Who's the one that we watched the video? Was that uh, the Billy guy? the Kid? Had the shootout and like he's the only one that got away. Yeah. But he was like totally surrounded. Young Guns. That was cool. Yeah, Young Guns. I mean, that was a I documentary. Did you see the documentary? <laughs> That's the one with the uh, Machine Brothers, right? Young Guns. Yeah. Those are bigger and louder because he's got bigger <coughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> I just can't hide it. Can you do flash dance? Flash dance? Let's not do that. <laughs> Nobody got time for that. So you just need like a chair, a pole chain, some water? Yeah, pretty much. And no shame. Right. <laughs> Okay, so now what? Whoa, already! <laughs> you got a shot? Yeah. It's not even plugged in. Imagine what could happen if we plugged it in. Oh, he must be ecstatic. <laughs> uh, can you see what that's stuck on? Oh, I got a little one too. So, did, were there directions anywhere? Of course not. Nope. Who needs those? Well, you got that would be stuff. too perfect. <laughs> wouldn't, uh, wouldn't it just? I got it. <laughs> too perfect. Yeah. yeah. Huh, too perfect. Yeah. Oh, I thought this was what you were going for. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was. I was, I was just going for perfect, but too perfect. He's going for T-O-O -O perfect. Mm. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you guys will find a manual. Wait, what is this? Uh, I don't even know anybody named a manual. It's right. No, but I don't, this is new to me. Yeah. Part is this. <laughs> it's so, new to all of us. That's the chocolate no, I mean, concept. I'm just saying that part wasn't on the other one, so. Yeah, it's way. Well, no, that's a belt, so it's kind <gasps> of a iPad. chocolate holder place. Well, so you think it's a Wawa or something? Flavors? Wow. Can we yeah. handle it? We'll find out. I mean, uh, I still don't know. If chocolate sink? Okay, go for it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It feels like there's not going to be a Feels like there's an iPad in here. Yeah. There's a home button. Yeah. Yeah. 
All right, so. Best birthday ever. We can get this turned around. Are you peeling off of it? I'm trying, but it's like. <laughs> Yeah, they got all the all the end parts like tucked in. Yeah, so, like, I, not, I hate this stuff when you when you're trying to peel stuff off stainless. Yep. It's not so bad. I think it's not going to go under this, dude. Well, let's look at the rest of the stuff. We we have more pieces over there, so that's that's probably like to get into it, you know. You I think one on top. They would make. Oh, well, yeah, that's actually yeah. You can see it's two pieces. Why would they make it that difficult if it was if it was just to get the belt on and off? This should be pretty easy to do. Let's get the wheel under. Is it under? We're supposed to be on the outside this is then. This far forward. Yeah, maybe one goes in and one goes out or something. Okay, let's try it on the outside. Okay, hold on. Let's get the pedal out here. Yeah. This up too. Like that. Uh. Yeah. Okay. It, it looks like maybe those should match up or something, but... There's two. See these right here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's holes. You're close. It's got to go in a little bit more. The other one's not in either, so that's probably why. Is it in over here? No, nah, you got to push it push it towards the wall a little more on both. So that ends. Your end's got to go in, Steve. Let's bump this up against the wall. There we go. All right. Oh, so that's this must be like some sort of safety... Yeah, probably if that comes undone, it stops it. Mm -hmm. That's the. Uh, it's real tight trying to get this thing to move, too. So. Oi! There you go. Now it's not. Oh, cool. There's a rubber gasket in there. Yep. How neat is that? Pretty it's a, neat. It's a compression fitting. Are you excited this stuff, Dad? Yeah, this is great if it works. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds very positive. You know you paid, it probably out of work, huh? Maybe this is lined up now for something. Couldn't be that easy, huh? Hmm. Well, we still got some stuff that we haven't even opened yet. So. Look, uh, yeah. look where the emergency staff is. You see that? It's like... <laughs> oh, way under there? Yeah. We got the second one right there. So you gotta have a little hand, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I think this is probably the one for when you're using the belt, and that's for like when you're doing molds. <laughs> for, for when you get caught in it, and you really, absolutely, positively have to get to it right away. <laughs> so this goes, uh, uh, this end. This end? Mm -hmm. And what's that? That's what I wanted to find out. It's heavy. I know that much. Never mind. Oh. oh, that's the vibrant cable, right? Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah, so this goes on top. Mm -hmm. If you're just doing oh, wow. molds. If you're doing molds. That's pretty heavy duty, huh? Mm -hmm. just, they both vibrate. Maybe we'll just do the. We'll yeah, just use the other one for And it's quieter, too, because if they oh. put these on there. Could we hang this on the wall? Sure. Right, not, not, even, not this wall, but yeah, another wall. That was wall his house. His uh, chocolate art? Yeah. Yeah. Well, this must be upside down. Yeah. I was trying to look at it. Like, oh, yeah. okay, that's where the paper goes. So... The paper must come in on this side, so I think this is the same. So... Uh, oops. I think that's this, the end. This end goes here. Yeah. yeah. Let's see how it goes. Oh, so is this backwards from the other one? Uh, I don't think so. I'll go up a little bit. Oh, you know what? Never mind. That's not going to fit. It's not wide enough. No. I don't think it, Yeah, maybe it doesn't go that way. Hmm? Because, like, there's two, if you look here, there's these two bars, which look like they would fit in there, but it's too small. It goes in between the, the locks. Unless, you know, keep over jumping. 
You know what? Where's the? You know what? Maybe this is it. Because yeah. wh where's the curtain come from? The next day. Hey, this is it. This is what everybody wanted to see, right? Mm -hmm. You doing rover? Yeah. Um, we haven't done anything with it as far as using the conveyor belt uh, to cover cranes uh, or any of that stuff, where we'd be end roving. Right now, we're just getting, still getting used to it. Just got set up the other day, so um, we've been pouring molds with it, um, dispensing chocolate. It, you can see how fast it's coming out. Yeah, it doesn't have to be fast. It's super fast, yeah. So that's kind of neat. Um, we've put a couple of recipes into it. Um, it's on uh, the recipe. And for recipe, there's uh, tempering recipes for like milk and dark and all that stuff so that we can set uh, the working temp um, and the melting temperature for each uh, particular chocolate. And uh, we have a dosing recipe which dispenses the right amount every time. And I tested it, uh, I hand poured some and then I measured them and there was a variance of about a half an ounce and then I, which we write on each candy bar so you know what you're getting. Um, and then I, I did these and I measured all of those bars and they're three ounces every single time. So it's super consistent if we can match a mold to the recipe. <laughs> so, uh, you were saying before that a lot of them are way under three ounces. So yeah. then you just have to do the funnel and the stick method. Yeah. Which kind of sucks. Which, yeah, it kind of does. Because that's, we could do that on that in order to. Yeah. So. Alright, so I've got recipe number two. Let's see if I can get it right the first time. Here we go. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> why didn't you why didn't you work? So what it does is it's supposed to uh, huh? You might have changed the dosing recipe yesterday. You changed it on me? Oh wait. Dosing's not on either. <laughs> Thanks, Max. <laughs> we, we also might have changed it though, so I don't know if you want to go in there. Okay, and I better check it out then. Because Steve was like trying to check out the. So okay, there. number of cavities is right. The dosing time is right. right there. Yep. Nope. Max so nailed it. You just didn't have dosing on. I didn't have dosing on. Uh, yeah. That sounds weird. Dosing. <laughs> Are you dosing? No. 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 I'm not dosing. I would never. But yeah, we have to. Okay. Take two. Hey! Ooh. And then you just... Do you know how the vibrating table for now? So, yeah, here's the thing. Here's the vibrating table. And again, you just hit a button. Also, I don't think it's working out the air bubbles. So you don't think it's what? It's working out the air bubbles. Uh. So that's why we tap it. It forces the air bubbles, if there's any in there, to the top. And then it also settles it into the corners. So do you think that it would be... Have you tried it without the silicone pans? See if that yes, helps. I have. Yeah. And, and it's about know. the same. Uh. So what I noticed is between this table and the table on the small one, Robert. Yeah. It's the same motor, mm. except that that uh, vibrating table is this big, and you know this one's what six times bigger. Yeah. But it's got the same motor, mm. so it's vibrating that much more material. I don't think it's doing its job right now. Uh, they should have put a bigger motor on it. Yeah. So we do it by hand. So basically this thing isn't everything we hoped it would be? Uh, yeah, not yet, not really. Um, because, yeah, the vibrator doesn't work as good. Um, it dispenses a little too fast. Uh, so far it looks like the tempering is spot on. Yeah. Because on that machine we have to keep it uh, manually adjusted. Yeah. And, it's, and it can be a pain in the butt <laughs> when you're trying to, you know, work with the, all the chocolate. And then um, we have to adjust the temper. 
And so, so far this works really good because this has a heating unit and it has refrigeration lines. Mm. So in the well right here, that's about, I think it's about 91 degrees, which is, you know, it's too hot to, to pour without it blooming. But then when it comes up through the faucet, it's running down through the bottom of the well through a bunch of refrigerated lines. It comes up through the faucet. Mm. And right now it's at 82.9 degrees, which is perfect. Yeah. So the temper's great. Um, it dispenses too fast. Uh, and we haven't worked with the en uh, the enrobing a whole lot. But from what we saw, the curtain isn't... It needs some adjustment. And, you know, I, I don't want to condemn that right away because we haven't fully adjusted it and given time to it. So once we do that, then we can say yay or nay. Mm. But I know we're definitely going to have to work on adjusting that. Yeah. That was the one recipe we have that works <laughs> um, for three ounces or above. But the majority of everything we do is going to be smaller pours like this. And that's, I don't know, half ounce, three quarters of an ounce. And if I tried to put it in there, it just, you know, my cup would runneth over. So I'm going to change to recipe one. And all I use that for actually <laughs> is to fill the funnel. And that's how we do most of our molds. Nope, not right. Uh, oh, because this one you would want to have dosing I got to turn out dosing now. Oh, okay. But then I do it. Burp. And all that does is it just delays it. So I can get the funnel under there without making a big old mess. Nice. Yeah, it solidifies a little bit. Yeah. Is it a little bit easier using using this to fill up since it's like the, the right height and stuff to put it under instead of the other in rubber? Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. I mean, it's a nice little work table. Yeah. Um, this first doing too much in them. Again, if we had a nice vibrating table. Mm -hmm. so what you see is, these are overflowed. That one's not quite there. This one came over this way. And so now I'm just gonna hit these with the scraper. Mm -hmm. And then you see the air bubbles? Yeah. Right there and there. Center of the mold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's just gonna flow out nice and even all over for the most part. 
just to make sure we get all the air bubbles on. Okay, so the molds before were, uh, you know, kind of a concentric circle shape, and it made it uh, very apt to pour the chocolate in there with the vibrating table on, and it spread out very nicely. With one of these rectangles, it's going to be oblong, and I don't think it's going to work as good, but we'll give it a shot and see what happens. majority of the molds that we pour. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Holds the 
Copied me, see that? Yeah. Wow, worked for the first time that time. Before Whoa. before I was recording, Dad had to like just keep whacking it for it to actually turn on. Do you think that this one is faster than uh, the one Max is using right now? Well, I'm, I'm using it real slow right now, and I'm just taking my time yeah. to learn all the little kinks and making sure that I got, got enough chocolate and making sure the blower's right. It's taking me a while to get it down to learn. And once I once I have it for a few months, maybe yeah. I'll <laughs> hopefully by Christmas. Yeah, I'll get better eventually. Yeah, because Max was saying earlier that it might be kind of like this one, where it took a long time before yeah, you guys really got to get that one. Yeah, a long time to get one. this down, really. Yeah. I wouldn't think so, but it yeah. does. You put your, yeah. and you really try to use it. And, and this, the most, this one's also manual, and this one's auto tempering. So there's definitely some. Even though it is auto, there's definitely like different things you have to learn. Yeah, yeah. First day you've like really been able to use it very much. Yep. So first I've, first I've day. Tried yeah. to come in here multiple times, and every time you guys just have to like troubleshoot stuff. Yeah. So it takes a while to get to get the all the little little kinks out of it first before you even start. Yeah. Because just getting the speed down and all the buttons on the uh, iPad there and coordinating everything and you know. It's not easy. Yeah, I can imagine. But this will help out a lot. Yeah, come winter time. Okay, so today we are trying out a brand new candy on our brand new Enrover. Um, so there's two different functionalities with this new Enrover. Uh, we have our enrobing portion, uh, like we've always done with the small one. Uh, I have that uh, conveyor belt detached right now because we're going to be using tempered chocolate uh, straight out of the faucet. We're not using the vibrating table. Uh, we're just going to use it um, to make these things. Uh, you're familiar. If you watch some of our videos, uh, you're familiar with the snack clubs, the peanut butter, uh, then covered in chocolate, covered with potato chips. Today we're just going to call these pretzel rods, brand new item. We're just going to dip it in chocolate uh, with the faucet and then the chips. And that's it. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. So here we go. That goes pretty fast. Ah. Oh, <laughs> oh geez. So Steve was worried. Steve was worried that the, the pretzel rods would break from the force of the faucet. 
But, well, uh, no. The real enemy is the chips. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's see if this pretzel rod's a little better. Take two. This time, I'll approach it differently. say that no pretzel rods were harmed during the making of this video. Unfortunately, that was a lie. <laughs> we had some breakage. <laughs> so yeah, you guys have never done just the chocolate potato chips. Nope. And I know Terry was saying that usually the, the big club ones with the peanut butter and the chocolate, you just do two in a package. Yep. But I think she wants to do what, like six or eight or oh, something? Oh, okay, there you go. So yeah, so these would be pretty cool if people want to just get a package of them. We had breakage on one. Yeah. But it wasn't in the chocolate. So oh, yeah. I just kind of went douche. <laughs> Should be quicker. Yeah, it keeps your hands clean, right? Well, I mean, well, it yeah. keeps your hands clean. That's Relatively. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, as with any new machine or new process, um, there are going to be some hiccups and there is always a learning curve. And uh, Steve and Terry decided to go with another uh, perfect machine like the other one um, because they are familiar with the company and the people there. So th we did have a couple of snags uh, with getting the rover belt to work, but we've got that dialed in. Um, We've got, uh, we had a couple of issues with the temper of the chocolate. Uh, it wouldn't come down to temper. Um, and we realized that if we rebooted the machine, um, we could get it up and going again, again in a pretty quick fashion. So all in all, um, we had our doubts, honestly, but it's come together pretty good. And uh, I think we can make a, a fairly productive use out of this new machine. Yeah, so just some growing pains. Exactly. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, you know, new equipment, like, you know, if you buy a new computer and you're not used to it, or like, you know, let's say you switch from Windows to a exactly, Mac or a yeah. Mac to a Windows, yep. and it might seem frustrating at first, or there's things that you're not, you know, used to, or don't know how to work around. Yeah. Um, it sounds like you guys have been in pretty close contact with the actual company, and they've been... So, yeah, uh, they set, yeah, they set their guy down here a few times. Um, the last time he was at a trade show and he came, he stopped in, he was on his way back through and he helped us out. So, um, they have been, uh, helping us out with this. Uh, there, there, there has been frustration, but, uh, we're through the worst of it, definitely. And, uh, and they have been able to help us out with it. So, I think we're good to go. Sweet.